Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. This book contains 230 problem solving questions. It has 174 data sufficiency questions. We have already solved all of these problems. If you're interested in watching any of the original solutions to the problems, you will find the original solutions from day number 1 through 250. Right now we are in the process of redoing the problems and we are on page number 167. Please come to it. Page number 167. The very first problem on it, number 107. Problem number 107 on page number 167. It says that we have 60% women. And a group of people, 60% we are told, are women. We are also told that 45% of these women are lawyers. The question is, what are the odds? What are the odds? of picking a woman lawyer. So if we were to pick one person at random from this group, what are the chances, what are the odds that the person that we picked at random turns out to be not only, not, not just a female, but a female who is a lawyer, who is, who is, who is, a, who is a lawyer. So let's start out our work by pretending that there are 100 people. That's the simplest, easiest scenario. So if we have a total of 100 people, if we have a total of 100 people, we are told the 60% of our women. So here are our men, here are the women, 40, 40 of them are, are, are men and 60 of them are women. And we are told that of these 60 women, 45% are lawyers. So if we take 45% of that amount, that's what we're looking for. 45% is 45 over 100, that's how we represent percent. Percent means out of 100 and we are done. Let's divide top and bottom by 20 and 60 becomes 3 and 100 becomes 5. Divide top and bottom by 5 and 45 becomes 9. So the answer is 9 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. It turns out that the odds of picking a female lawyer from this particular group is 27%. Little over a quarter, quarter of a chance. Let's do the next one, number 108. Number 108 is a little bit more involved. It's not as straightforward as this one. Just give me one second. Number 108. In 108, we are told that each year, each year, the number of trees went up by a quarter of the previous number. Each year the number of trees that we had in the orchard went up by one quarter more than what it was the previous year. So if the previous year we had 100 trees, the following year we have 125 trees. If we had 400 trees the previous year, the next year we'll have 500 trees. Whatever it was, it goes up by one quarter. Every year, that's the pattern. The question is this, and we, and we are further told that at the end, at the end of four years, we have 6,250 trees. The question is very straightforward. The question is, what was the beginning number? What was the beginning number? Now listen, there are, there are a couple of ways we can go about solving this problem. One is what I would call an uh, orthodox way, a classical way, traditional way, geeky way, nerdy way, academic way, algebraic way. And the other one is what we, what we would call, uh, what we would term as a quick and dirty way. Let me show you the classical way first, the orthodox way first, the algebraic way first, okay? So in the algebraic way, this is how we start out. So, we, so here's our solution. So right now we are solving it like a good schoolboy, good schoolgirl, doing what exactly what we are supposed to be doing, which is let let the beginning number be x. So 
so here is our year beginning number year one year zero and then year one year two year three and year four so we start out with x amount at the end of first year which is why this one here at the end of first year this x will become whatever the x was plus a quarter more than that 1x which is four quarters plus another quarter it becomes 5x it becomes five or rather it becomes 5 fourth x the following year it goes up by one quarter more than this amount so we whatever we have in the beginning whatever whatever amount that we started out with our uh, year two our year two we started out with this amount the amount of trees number of trees rather what we had number of trees at the end of year one is the same number that we start out our year two and at the end of year two we have quarter more than that a quarter more than that is five fifth of that amount Similarly, at the, at, the, at, the end of year, at the end of year 3, we'll have 5 fifths cubed times x. And at the end of 4, year, at the end of year 4, at the end of year 4, the number of trees that we will have, the number of trees we will have is this amount right here. 5, 4 raised to 4th power times x. And that has to equal that quantity and that's it, we're done. We just simply have to solve for x, that's all there is. I need the room, we need a lot of room, so where can we do it? Should we continue here? Let's continue here. So x equals, so 5 over 4 raised to 4 times x equals, which can be written as, which can be written as 5 to the 4th over 4 to the 4th times x. And we are told that that equals 6250. We want the x by itself, so x would be, 6250, 6250 times 4 is to 4, we cross multiply, times 4 is to 4 over 5 is to 4. This is it, this is the quantity we have to simplify, which we're going to do on the top. Sixty two fifty times 4 is to 4, which, which 4 is to 4 over 5 is to 4 which I'm going to write as 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 and you will see in a second why. 5 times 5 times 5, well, 5 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25. Do you see that? 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And 125 times 5, what do you suppose 125 times 5 would be? 125 times 5 would be same as 100 times 5, which is 500, plus 25 times 5. 25 times 5 is 125. 125 plus 500, this is 625. This is 625. And this represents 5 raised to 4. This was 5 raised to 3. 125 is 5 raised to 3. 125 is 5 raised to 3. 5 raised to 4 is 125 times 5. This is this amount. You see that? It's right here. 625 is there for a reason. Is there for a reason, so we can cross out all of this thing. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, now that I now, now that I explain it this way, we don't have to actually write it in a babyish way. We could have left it the way it was. Five raised to four is six hundred twenty-five. Six hundred twenty-five divided by this amount will leave us with ten, and that's it. We're done. That's our answer. Whatever that happens to be, we just have to figure out what four four is to four is. Let's find out here. Four times four is sixteen. And 16 times 4 is 64. This part I do know, 64. That's 6. This is 4 cubed. 64 times 4, or can we do it? Let's do it right here. 64 times 4, or 60 times 4 is 240. 240 plus 4 times 4 is 16, so it's 256. Of course it's 256. What the hell am I thinking? 64 is to 4 is same as 16 squared, and 16 squared is 256. That's it, that's your answer. 256 times 10. 256 times 10. The answer is, the final answer is 2560 trees is what we'll have. Uh, 2560 is the number of trees we must have had at the beginning of our story. Do you understand? That's all it is. But this is a very traditional way, very cumbersome, very tedious, and above all, very time consuming. Let me show you a different way. Shall, shall we? Let's take a look, look at a different way. We need the room. Where can we put it? I need to raise this thing. Let's do it up here. A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, just listen to what I have to say and see if it see if it makes any sense to you.
1563 1563 2250 25 60 27 52 okay now like i said listen to me and then if you feel, if you feel at the end after i finish explaining my logic here my rationale at the end if you feel that i'm full of it then you just ignore me that's what it is here's here's the thinking the nature of this problem is such that, you see, I, I have explained this thing on several different occasions. There was one time when we were talking about uh, ratio of uh, apples and oranges, I believe it was, and we are trying to figure out how many fruits we bought, uh, or if you're talking about ratio of students to teachers, or boys to girls, or red cars to blue cars, or daffodils to roses in the, in the garden. Sometimes the nature of the problem is such that you have to understand that the numbers that we are dealing with have to be integers, they have to be whole numbers. We cannot go around planting 13 and a quarter tree. It's very difficult to plant a quarter of a tree. Do you understand? So whatever number that we started out with, our orchard, the number of trees that we started out with, has to be a whole number. And we are told, we, and we are further told, that it goes up by quarter of the amount each time. Whatever number that we start out with, the next time it's going to go up by quarter more than that. Well, in order for it to go up by exactly quarter more than that, the number that we start out with must be divisible by 4. Must be divisible by 4. Another thing that we have to understand, and these are some of the things if you don't know, you should know by now because I've explained this thing on several different occasions. It's important that you watch the videos in proper sequence. And there are many other videos on the channel you can, you can search for. Look for divisibility rule. If you do not know, look for this one. Type in my name and type in divisibility rule. Rules. Divis divisibility rules and just type in my name. Anytime you're looking for certain concept, just type in the name of the concept and my name and put in a quotation and see what happens. We know, we learned long time ago our divisibility rule, and we know that in order for a number to be divisible by 4, the last two digits must be divisible by 4. That's how we tell whether or not an, a given number is divisible by 4. Can you divide 50 evenly by 4? Is 50 divisible by 4? 50 is not divisible by 4. 48 is, 52 is, but you can divide 50 by 4. I do not know what the answer is, but we could not have possibly started out our story we could not have possibly started out with 1250 trees because the next year we have to increase this amount by quarter and we can't divide it by four. Similarly, we couldn't have started out our story with 63. It's just 63 is not divisible by four. You can clearly see there. Well, oh, there is another 50. That's not it. That tells us that the answer has got to be either D or E. At that point, at that point, all you have to do is pick one of those two numbers. And if I were you, I would, I would pick D because, you know, the final amount was not that great. It was like 6,000 something. You're not going to start out with something close to 3,000. So start out with this thing and see what happens. Just start out, increase it by quarter each time, and you'll see that at the end you'll end up with 6,250. That's all. Or, or, in the worst case scenario, if you don't have the time, or if you don't have the inclination, if you don't have the patient, if the freaking thing is giving you a headache, just pick one. Toss a coin and pick one. A 50% chance on a problem where you did not put in any effort is a pretty damn good chance in a problem where you didn't actually solve it and if you still stand to have a 50% chance of being right well that's a pretty good strategy in my book do you understand? anyway enough of the sermon let's move on to the next problem just give me a break for one second as always number 109 number 109 Number 109 deals with a simple chart. And the question is simply, what's the median? We have a chart and we're looking for a median. I need to plot the chart, so I need the loom, so we need to arrange all of this thing. Here is our chart. And the question is very straightforward. The question is, what's the median? Here's 100, 200, 300, 400, 100, 200, 300, and 400. The first observation you will see, again, this is, doesn't have to be very accurate. The very first, the lowest one is this one right here. The lowest one is right here, which is 91. Let's, let's call it 1. This is 2, which is little over, little under 200. Number 3 is little over, little over 200. Number 3 is little over 200. That's 92. That's number 3. Number 4. And you will see how far we're going to go. Number four is little under under 300. That's number four, 93. Number four. 
and then number five is way over there at the very end which is a little over 200 that's number five okay how many observations are there they're looking for median aren't they they're looking for median so very first thing we should do very first thing that we should have done which I which I did not the very first thing we should have done is to figure out how many observations we have. Just figure out very quickly how many years there are. Don't try to subtract one from the other. Don't, do not be lazy. That's just, just don't go 2000 minus 990. Count them individually and you will see there are 11 observations. If there are 11 observations, if there are 11 observations, then the median, the median, you will have five observations here. You will have five observations here. The five highest one, the five lowest one, and here is your median. Median which is the number 6th observation. Observation number 6. Here is our first observation, second observation, arranged in order because we're looking for median. 1, 2, 3, 4, and there's the fifth one. And the sixth observation you will see, if you look very carefully, you will see the sixth observation is the very next year, which is a little over 300. This is 94. This is our sixth observation. This is the sixth one. The reason we do not have to worry about the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, all of the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, that, that is, not 11th, 11th is right here, that's the 11th observation right here, which is number 5 when we arrange them in order. The reason we don't have to worry about in between ones 7 through 10 is because if you look at the chart, they are all above, the, all of them, or all of them, for starting from 95 all the way up to 99, they are all above 310. 310 is the right, is the 6th point there. And that's it, we're done. 6th observation is the median. And if arranged in order, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And after that, they are all above it. They are all of them are above it. Three, they are all above 310. So the median is the sixth observation, which is 310. That's it, we're done. I'm debating whether or not I want to do the next problem right now. No, I, I don't want to do it right now. Let's just, let's just stop right here. So they will, we'll do the second column separately, okay? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.